I'll be honest with you guys. I haven't felt lonely in a long time, but recently there's this guy that keeps going to VC by himself, hoping for someone to join him and talk to him. Now, I've automatically asked him why he keeps doing this, and I quote, because I'm lonely. And that type of response reminded me how how I felt before, but also how I overcame loneliness. So I just wanted to make this video to address loneliness and how to fix it. So I would say since last year, I've been t a type of person who didn't like spending time by myself. <laughs> yeah, because that's the definition of loneliness. But what I mean is that, for example, I would annoy people to call me or voice call with me so I could escape that loneliness. I remember calling with my friend Dave. And we would play Roblox, Payday 2, GTFO, uh, just any type of game that we would play. And mind you, you know, if Dave's watching this, it's nothing personal. But, you know, I don't even know the dude IRL or I knew him barely IRL, at least. And to think that I'm calling with him every day, like every morning and having such a good time with him is kind of weird because you don't know them personally. But this wasn't just with Dave, I would say. This was with a lot of people. And this was especially prevalent during the time that I was making comment initiation videos. So that's August and to October of this year. And I still remember calling with one of my close friends and having two-hour call sessions with them. For example, I literally remember the part where I FaceTimed him while I was eating my dinner. Like, I ate my rice and eggs. I put the phone, right? I put the phone in front of the monitor, put my bowl of rice and eggs with my spoon, and just ate while we talked. And, yeah, that was super interesting, I guess, right? I mean, I, I would literally call him um, during work and talk to him while I was dealing with these customers because... But, you know, both of us worked at Chuck E. Cheese. That's just how that just goes to show how close and chill we were uh, to the point where I was FaceTime him. He was FaceTiming me about, you know, I was doing homework. He was doing homework. I would edit some of the videos. He would work on his history presentation. Like, I still remember doing that with him. But around the time of late September, he started dating this person and... It wasn't, I didn't take it personal, but I could definitely tell that these calls would slowly come to an end because, you know, like he said before, and I know he's probably watching this video, it's not the personal bro, but it seems as if he would use all this time on her and not with me. And I get that. It's your girlfriend. They're supposed to be your best friend. I totally respect that. But if we go back to look at the call history, especially around October, you could definitely tell that these calls were less frequent and in length in October. So what did I do now? Well, obviously, I had to look for other sources. And I found interest in calling with some of my other friends and having deeper connections with them. Even though I still appreciate my moments with these guys, I realized that this was a problem. Like, I had this mindset of just waiting till my friends got on VC and then joining them and staying till I went to sleep. Mind you, if my friends were not on VC and I was by myself, then I would put on music or I would just put on like a podcast and and let these people talk because I could never dreamed of having a place in mind where I could just have some peace and have like no external, <laughs> I guess, background noises or stimulus in my life. So... One day, I was looking across YouTube, and I stumbled upon this podcast, which featured David Goggins. Now, I'm thinking to myself, like, am I really going to watch a two-hour David Goggins podcast? The answer to that question was yes. And so, I watched the podcast, and I liked this part around the end where Chris Williamson, the host, was talking to Goggins about, like, the loneliness of performing at such an elite level. I'll play the clip right here. Nowadays, my friend, because most people are weak. Most people don't want to go to that extra mile. Most people don't want to find that extra because it sucks. 
It's miserable. It's lonely. You talk about that you were kind of, you know, lonely by yourself. I was the same way. And that used to hurt me growing up. Now I fucking thrive in that shit. That's the only place to be. Now, after watching the podcast, I found myself going through videos like Dude Alone or The Power of Loneliness and just understanding these types of mindsets. I mean, you have Andrew Huberman, David Goggins, like mentioned before, and now Alex. What? <sighs> Hormozy. 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 Eventually, that inspired me to actually start working on YouTube. And this was especially during the time when I was working on, you know, the first tower defense video with such a better mindset and workflow. Hey guys, editing diary here, I guess. Uh, I ref I forgot to mention that since this is going to be, this next part is about fixing the loneliness part, I would like to say that do not go in a relationship thinking it's going to fix your alone time. Remember, loneliness is a byproduct of you not liking and respecting your alone time. So you going to a relationship is probably going to even make it worse. Like, you know the dude that I mentioned in the intro? He already has a girlfriend, and I don't. <laughs> and so I need you, you guys to understand that loneliness cannot be fixed by just going to the relationship. Um, just learning from these stories and understanding the the pattern of loneliness, it's, it's very fixable. And I'm here to fix that problem for you guys. So... The first step I recommend for you guys to do is to turn off social media. And the reason why is because, especially for me on Discord, Instagram, they kind of emphasize this part of FOMO or the fear of missing out. And for you guys, that might not enforce loneliness, but for me, it definitely did. And that was just on Insta, by the way. On Discord, man, that's just a whole nother. Like, I felt like since my friends were on bc i felt inclined to join them right away but i understood that i don't have to join them right away and i can respect my alone time because it's a choice to join them you guys get what i mean the second part is to know your addictions and flaws now this is definitely a big one because so many people are unaware of their weaknesses and it's so easy for them to go back into bad habits, like feeling lonely. For me, I had a Brawl Stars addiction. I will admit I had a Brawl Stars addiction. And what did I do? I identified it. And I haven't even played Brawl Stars since, I don't know. At the time of this recording right now, it's like Sunday. So like Wednesday. And I haven't played it at all. And I just because I felt like it's just a waste of time for me. So I understood my addictions and didn't promote that being lonely. All right. Lastly, I want to put this message out is that you have to work towards your purpose when you're by yourself. Like ask yourself, what is my purpose in life? Personally, for me, it was making these types of videos. And you can look at the progression of this channel. You know, I went from TC2 content like montages to Arcane Odyssey clips, to Common Initiation Guides, and then you have the video essays from, you know, Kendrick Lamar's Lust to Corey Kenshin's Serious Talks, and now you have these advice videos where I talk about how to not be alone, or how not to feel lonely. So, what do we learn from this video, guys? Well, for starters, David Goggins has stated that you will be by yourself most of the time in life so you need to understand that and start loving being by yourself and i get it it's going to be very hard new things are always going to be hard first before they become easy it will be lonely it's going to suck i get that but your alone time is arguably the most important part of you growing as a person and that's perfectly fine as, as long you as do you not don't give, give up, up. Thank, thanks for listening thanks for caring thanks for understanding because this is definitely a big part. This has been a big part of my life. And I don't want 
people to feel lonely anymore because the formula is right here, guys. It's right here. And I know everyone that's watching this video has experienced loneliness at some time. And if you are still feeling lonely, I hope that this video actually helps you out. All right. Later.